Like yeah, once sure. it's ready to go, all they have to do is put their skis on and do what they do best. Right. So, Sweet. which is hopefully their best. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Still just eyeing out the feature, seeing if we can figure out something that's gonna work, but jump over this. Boom, biggest cinder block flip you've ever seen. We're gonna go really fast, land on a ton of snow over there, and dump trucks, cinder block, dump trucks, nail, nail, tires, tetanus. Uh, hey mom, was wondering if you know if I'm up to date on my tetanus shots. I just stepped on a nail. This is what I want to do. I want to do a big jump over some sketch. I don't know how much more sketch you can get than crumbling concrete and nails. Brick by brick. single truckload of snow show up yet. We're trying to hit this tomorrow. I think that we can fill up more space, putting tires underneath, pallets on top. I mean, we should plan for having less snow than we think, because, I mean, once that snow's consolidated, like 50 yards sounds like a lot of snow, but it's really not that much. Never used a bunch of cinder blocks, tires, and rubble and pallets to build a jump in a abandoned building before. Oh, yeah. I'd like to find somebody else who's done something crazier. We are stacking a ton of tires here because we're gonna come skiing from inside there and jump through all that stuff and land there. And we're doing it with. No snow other than what we're bringing in with our two trucks. Hope we can uh, make it happen with a bunch of imported snow. Booyah. What are you ready for? Chilling, riding chairlifts, skiing pal, oh. and great. catching some big air here tomorrow. It's day two at the Bible Gap. Just uh, stomped out the Enron, waiting on a uh, one more trailer load of. Ice shavings from the local ice skating rink. Uh, pretty stoked the cops rolled by, but they stalled where we stalled long enough. And they got a homicide call, so they dipped, and we're still here. Hope they don't come back. I think it's gonna be a really good session. I'd say it's about the biggest urban landing I've ever seen, but about the smallest landing I've ever seen for a jump this size, so yeah, that's it's pretty true. sick. I'll call in the air. Tails. Heads. Ooh, heads. <laughs> Carl pick. All right, Kai can get it. All right. Rookie. All right. <laughs> you get it? I don't have a choice. I'll do it. How'd that look? Oh yeah, you got it, dude. That was plenty. Yeah, plenty. So You're gonna be going huge. Dude. We're gonna be going huge. Dude, right?
somewhere that's as hostile as this place and to leave feeling accomplished was just incredible. In many ways I can't even believe it because Detroit never represented the trip of a lifetime to me. It represented an opportunity for us to test our will and test our determination to put skiing on the brink.